Hi guys, I am very excited to be back with another breakfast recipe. I know a lot of us want to incorporate oats in our diet and even if we have them lying there in our kitchen, we don't know how to cook them or consume them and even if we do, most of us find them to be too boring, too bland and don't like the taste too often. So we're going to fix all of that today and make the most delicious overnight oats. because they're very simple to make, very quick to put together. I basically soak the oats in milk overnight, keep them in my refrigerator and when I wake up in the morning, they're basically ready to be consumed. I just grab and go. So what happens is that because the oats are being soaked in the milk, they absorb all the liquid, they become super soft and are ready to eat without having to cook them, which is the best part. And in this video, I'm sharing three different versions of the overnight oats. I'm making an apple pie overnight oats, I'm making chocolate and banana and also peanut butter and jelly. So let's get started. So let's start by making the basic recipe first. I'm starting with half a cup of oats, putting them into a bowl. So for making overnight oats, you should ideally use the traditional rolled oats. If you don't have them, you can use instant oats like I'm using right now. But I wouldn't recommend you using uh, the steel cut oats because they don't uh, soak the liquid as well and don't become super soft. Now to this, I'm adding one cup of milk. So I am using cow's milk for my overnight oats. If you want to make your oats vegan, you could also add plant-based milk. And now is the time to add sweetener. I'm adding two tablespoons of honey. Again, if you want to make a vegan version, please feel free to add the same amount of maple syrup. Now all you need to do with this is to let it rest in the refrigerator overnight. And um, I made a bigger batch last night, so I'll use that now to give you three different takes on the classic overnight oats. So I'm sharing the apple pie overnight oats version with you first. And for that, we'll start by making our apple filling. I'm adding one fourth cup of apples. To this, I'm adding two tablespoons of dried cranberries. I'll also add a pinch of cinnamon, about one fourth teaspoon, about two tablespoons of water, and I'm also adding about a tablespoon of light brown sugar, which is completely optional. And now I'll cook this in medium heat until the apples begin to break down and the sugar melts completely. So this is the batch that I had soaked last night and it's become really nice and thick but it's still not clumpy, it still has some liquid and that's how I like my overnight oats. The next version that I'm making is peanut butter and jelly. I'm using fresh strawberries, I'm using peanut butter. I'm also topping it with pumpkin seeds and I'm using the strawberry chia jam that I made on my YouTube channel a couple of weeks back. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below. So the next and the final version is the chocolate and banana overnight oats. 
I'm adding cocoa powder to it. I'm also using freshly sliced bananas and topping my overnight oats with some chia seeds. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. In the comments below, let me know which version of the overnight oats was your favorite. I think I picked the apple pie overnight oats any day. And if you end up making it, don't forget to share pictures with me on Instagram by tagging me at shivet17. And I'll be back with more videos. So keep watching and happy baking.